And it's no longer the job of Robert Bentley. After that report came out from the special investigator this weekend, Robert Bentley might have become more concerned with his freedom than his job. Because just 72 hours after he stood on the Capitol steps and said, I will not quit, he did just that. But only after cutting a special deal with prosecutors that will see him avoid being prosecuted for any serious crimes. News 5's Debbie Williams was the only reporter with the governor today as he left the Capitol to go turn himself in to local authorities. She has more now on Robert Bentley's bizarre last day in office. Governor, what do you have to say to folks about this day? News 5 was there when Governor Bentley left the Capitol around 345 Monday afternoon. Did you resign, sir? He had nothing to say as he headed off to the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office, where by 415, he was no longer treated as a governor, but as a criminal, although you couldn't tell by his mugshot. He has lost his job, he has lost his church, he has lost his family. Don't take that to say that I... I feel sorry for him. He did what he did, and he deserves to be now called a criminal. By 5 o'clock, the governor was before a judge making a deal. He would plead guilty to converting campaign money to pay legal fees for Rebecca Mason and to waiting months before reporting a $50,000 loan. Two misdemeanors, he will pay fines, do community service, but serve no jail time. Part of our agreement was that he must immediately resign. Part of our agreement was to pay back as much as he could to the state. And by getting back those campaign funds, we've ensured he can't misspend them anymore. And while it may be over for Bentley, what about Mason? She obviously led the governor astray, you know, took advantage of, of his poor decision making. And um, I, I hope she's held accountable. She's part to blame, if not to blame, for a lot of the embarrassment that's been brought on us. Sometime after 6.30, the governor had said his goodbyes and apologized again, and then he left the Capitol. But he did not leave as governor. He left as a convicted criminal. In Montgomery, Debbie Williams, News 5.